Well, all right, one wheel drivers. So you guys went out for a ride today and it's time to do a little bit of after ride maintenance. It's pretty simple. Usually when your bike is still pretty clean like this, when you go for a ride, you know, you have the dry summer months here in Arizona. And usually it's just a little bit of dust here and there. You can just brush it off really. And really all you really need to do is just one little maintenance. This is what I do after every ride, just to keep my bike running good when I'm ready for my next ride. So let's check it out. All right, so after inspecting your bike and checking all your bolts, making sure all your bolts are there, and making sure they're not too dirty. You know, you could just use a little brush, get all the dust off your bike, clean it up a little bit. But the one big thing I like to do after I ride my bike, this is something I do almost all the time after I ride my bike, is after I check everything, make sure everything is all good, I go ahead and I check my seals. As you can tell, the seals right here, they're pretty dirty. I didn't really ride this bike that much, so it's not that dirty, but it's good enough to show you guys that yeah, there's some dirt accumulation right there on the seals. Same with the rear shock. You can see it's kind of dirty right there. And usually your dropper post if your bike is equipped with a dropper post. That will also be dirty. So those are the three main parts I normally maintain after I ride my bike. Well, I use this right here. It's made by Whistler Performance Lubricants. It's called Fork Boost Lube. And you put a little bit of that on your finger, I like to do that instead of actually putting it on the part like this because you're just going to put too much and waste it. So just put a little dab on your finger and rub it close to the seal right here so when you actuate your dropper up and down, the lube will get to the seal and actually pull all the dirt back up. Same with the rear shock, I do the same thing, put a little drop on my finger, rub it around close to the seal, and that way it will be nice and clean once you circulate it. I'll go ahead and do a demo right here on this front one because you could, you could actually tell that there's some dust right there. So I'll show you how I do it on this front one. So you're gonna grab a little bit of this fork boost lube, put it on your finger like so, and then just rub it on the stanchion. All the way around, make sure you got it all the way around the stanchion. And after you do that, you literally just circulate the suspension up and down, as you can see right there. And I'm not sure if you can tell right now, but all the dirt has been pulled up to the top right here. So now you can just wipe that off with your rag and obviously get it clean all the way down to the seal, like so. And if you take a good look at my shock right now, the seal is completely clean now. No more dust right there. So that way you can get that dust off of there. It can stop drying out your seals and help your seals last a lot longer and also keep them nice and clean so that way your service intervals won't be as bad. So as you can tell right there, it's nice and clean now. Now I'm gonna do that to the other side and then you wanna do that same thing to your rear shock and your dropper post right there. So that's pretty much all I do for my basic after ride maintenance. You know, nothing too crazy. I don't go crazy on maintaining my bike every ride because I do ride it a lot. But those are the kind of things you're gonna wanna do. Keep your bike running smooth. All right guys, thanks for watching. If you like this kind of content, don't forget, hit that subscribe and give me a like. And I'm going to try to make more maintenance videos for you guys. So you guys have a good idea of how I take care of my rides. Alright guys, take it easy. And as always, keep that shiny side up. Till next time, peace.